Hi, thank you so much for clicking this video. So if you've clicked this video, it means that you're interested in the story of Dollar Tree and how it came to be. I was interested as well, so I looked on DollarTree.com and they had a history tab and this is what pulls up when you click that tab. It says, our roots go back more than 60 years. To appreciate how it all came to pass, you have to rewind more than half a century to K.R. Perry, and Ben Franklin Variety Store in Ward's Corner, Norfolk, Virginia, and to Con Brooks, Doug Perry's son of K.R. Perry, and Ray Compton's adventure into a dollar retailing. A highly successful concept was created using this single price point to build a national chain of stores. Here's a quick look at the high points of this amazing beginning. Move your mouse over the trees to view the history of Dollar Tree stores. In 1953, K.R. Perry opened a Ben Franklin variety store in downtown Norfolk, Virginia, which he later named K&K &K 5 and 10. So it's really kind of cool. You just skip over and it goes to the next point. 1970, Bacon Brock, Doug Perry, and K.R. Perry started K&K &K Toys in Norfolk, Virginia. This mall concept toy store grew to over 130 stores on the East Coast. The K&K &K 5 and 10 store continued to exist and served as the foundation for what would become Dollar Tree. McCon Brock, Doug Perry, and Ray Compton started only one dollar with five stores, one in Georgia, one in Tennessee, and three in Virginia. The expansion of dollar stores was continued alongside K&K &K toy stores, mostly in enclosed malls. K&K Toys was sold to KB Toys, a Melville Corporation, and all assets were applied to the expansion of the Dollar Tree stores. So you can skip through and look at the different years. I highly recommend you go to DollarTree.com and you will see the progression of the company from start to finish or current start to what's currently happening right now. I think this is just cool and a little bit interesting. I hadn't known that it had started in Virginia, which is really neat. And I think that maybe you guys should check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. It might not be super exciting, but it is really cool to know something's history. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.